Hello everyone and welcome back to this video. So today we're going to take a look at the new Linkerd release 2.15, which is very exciting at first glance, but it comes with some caveats. As you remember, service meshes like Linkerd can help us to reach more observability and also enable us to have automatic HTTPS connection inside our cluster. Um, I will be very brief in this video, so I will just start my screen sharing and we will take a look together here at their web page. So this, this was just announced a couple of days ago, the new Linkerd version with mesh expansion, native sidecars, and Spiffle, which is really, really exciting. So the mesh, mesh expansion is something very cool. Um, it enables you basically to, if you have any components outside your Kubernetes cluster, you they can be part of the mesh. There is a video by Linkerd. You can take a look on the internet on YouTube. I can will put a link in the description. Um, there is also this thing which is called Spiffer support, but I'm not interested in that. But it's more exciting is the native sidecar support. So from Kubernetes one to nine on, there is native sidecar support. So you might know that currently sidecars are just something that are deployed along your pods. Uh, while this works most of the time, this can also lead into some problems if you have different init containers in there. And sometimes it's like things get blocked out uh, by themselves. But native sidecar support with the latest Kubernetes version seems to improve on that. Unfortunately, I cannot get this running, but I can show you what it will mean. But also, unfortunately, there is now a slight change in the release model mentioned here. And this has a huge impact. So what has changed? Basically, usually, you could just download your Linkerd release from the website. Um, and there was a simple install process. From the latest version on, if you want to have a stable version, you have to go to an extra site, you have to go an extra installer process to install it. You also have to grab a license. Um, and that means that you have about 19 days to work with Linkerd. But if you're in a company, to stress that, because there is now a lot of rockers on the internet about that, if you are a company that has more than uh, 50 employees or customers, I don't remember, you have to pay, which is really safe and sound, because, of course, companies like Linkerd also need to earn money. But the unfortunate thing is that there are no more stable versions released that you can just leverage. I tried to get this enterprise version running. Um, it is possible, but it was for me, it was too complicated. Um, and also, yeah, so what we are going to do today is to use the edge release because the latest edge releases, which are unstable releases, also seem to contain the features. Um, we can get that from the usual site here and it, it stalls the usual way. So you, we will just use this edge, this version here. And then to enable the sidecar, the native sidecar, we also have to have an annotation here. Um, and it already says that it's an experimental feature from Kubernetes 1 to 9 on. And yeah, it seems to be very experimental because I can show you the, the changes, but it's not working, at least not on my machine. Okay, let's dive into the code at, at the end. So what we need, uh, or what I'm using here, is uh, latest Kubernetes 1.2.9. I'm achieving that by using Terraform and also Kind. So... I have my trusty kind running here with this latest Kubernetes version. So kind is a Kubernetes that just runs inside your Docker application. That's already deployed. And then I will also use Terraform to install Linkerd. So instead of using Linkerd, I'm using the Linkerd Edge, which again, I just downloaded from their web page and put it into my user local bin folder. So I already did that. So Linkerd is now installed. So if we take a look here at the Linkerd namespace, it's everything there. And we see that we now have the edge release. So now let's install an application here. Um, so I'm using my example applications that will also be provisioned with Terraform. If you want to know about Terraform more, there is also a video here. 
So here in my example folder, I can just go for Terraform apply and it will then provision everything. Notice currently the native sidecar option is false. So what will happen? What we already know from the past, we see that we have pods here and they have two images. They have the image itself and they have the sidecar image, which is installed into the same pod, which means that we if take a look into the logs. We have a log from the proxy and we have a log from the application because they are running in the same pod or in the same container somehow. And that's working. And now we have MTLS encryption between all our containers. That is one thing we are using Linkerd for. So now I'm going to destroy everything. Remember how this looks like. Destroy. And we will change our property to enable native sidecar true. Again, we will apply. And now we will see the difference, what's happening here in the background eventually. So what we see here, um, I didn't touch the person service here, so this doesn't change. We still have the two image, the proxy and its own image. But for the call service, we now see one image and we see status in it one from two. So instead of just injecting the sidecar into the pod, it now goes through an init container process. So we see now here container and init container in contrast to, if you take a look at the person service, we have two containers running in the same pod here. And that's the difference. So instead of having the container in the pod, it's now done by an init container process. But as we see, unfortunately, the init container is not running. Um, and so it's not working. I don't know uh, if it's because it's an experimental feature, because we have to use uh, edge release here now. I really don't know. I hope that I can fix this and show you the results in another video. But that's basically what we can show. So there is really exciting stuff in here. But unfortunately, we also have to keep in mind the change of the uh, release schedule they are now doing. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.